But I'm also glad to note that today an additional 10 individuals will be discharged from our Bagathi COVID-19 isolation facility. And this is good news indeed. It is a good Friday. For the first time in a day, we release more people than we took in. The individuals have tested negative twice, and that brings in a total of 22 individuals who have recovered from the disease. As of today, a total of 2,054 contacts have been monitored, 1,481 have been cleared during the follow-up programs, and 573 remain in our monitoring program. To date, a total of 6,192 samples have been tested. Once again, I would like to reiterate the importance of observing the various measures and guidelines issued to combat the virus. I want to remind our young people, the youth, of the discussions that we have had on the various days on the role that they can continue to play. And I'm glad to report that we have had communication with a lot of youth groups who have contacted, who have contacted us with ideas on how they can help in the villages, in the estates, and we continue to encourage them to do so. I also want to remind those sectors that we have been addressing on the matters of cleanliness, especially on the streets, in the markets. Yesterday we spoke at length to our mothers, our sisters, our aunties, our brothers and sisters who are working in marketplaces. And we said, and I would like to remind them again and again, that please keep social distances even as you work in our markets. I also want to remind our barbers, those who work in saloons, those who work in matatu operations, in the public transport sector, I want to remind you that you must not ease off what we have said and what we have agreed we are going to do working together. Let us not ease off at any time. Let us keep remembering that the disease is not slowing. The disease is continuing. But if, if we continue to cooperate, if we continue to do what we are supposed to do, there is a chance that we might be able to arrest it before it becomes a disaster that it has become in many, many parts of the world. And we cannot afford to ease off because if countries like America that have got the kind of uh, resources that they have, if countries like Italy can get overwhelmed, then you can imagine what would happen to this part of the world if similar circumstances were to arise. So I wish you well. I wish, I wish you a happy Easter as we continue to pray in our homes.